Welcome to Highline Excel video number 15. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download this workbook, Week 3, Business 214. Hey, if you're enrolled in the class, just go to our Week 3 website. Hey, we got to talk about the most amazing new feature in uh, 2007, or at least one of the most amazing. It's the table feature. Now, the table feature will allow us to automatically format a table. Um, it'll create dynamic ranges so as we add new records formulas and charts will update and a bunch of other things we have seven examples here first thing is you got to have your data set up correctly as we talked about in our last video now how do you create a table in uh, 2007 you use the actually insert table but the keyboard shortcut is control T so that's what we'll try control T now if you're in earlier versions uh, the only one that has a similar feature is 2003, and you use the keyboard shortcut Control-L. And this one uh, has the dynamic ranges, which are uh, perhaps the best feature, but uh, not any of the other things we're going to see, like table nomenclature and formatting and stuff like that. All right, I'm going to Control-T, and then my, data ha my table has headers. Click OK. Now, the first thing we can see is that it formats it. And we'd like to see how to change that format. I'm going to actually go to this Table Tools Design ribbon. I'm going to have to pull this way up here. Hopefully, you can see it way. Um, so I'm going to click boop right here, and then Quick Styles. And way at the bottom, it says New Table Style. Let's see if I can get this to show up here. New Table Style right there. And we want to try and create a new table style. new table style um, and there's elements and you can format each one um, one at a time I'm gonna say whole table and then click here I'm gonna do a border around everything so you can see it shows up in bold and then I want to find my um, let's see the header row right there very important that's the one at the top I'm gonna click format I'm gonna click uh, outline and inside fill is going to be dark and then I'm going to go over to font since the fill is dark the font better be light colored and then I'm going to do first second let's see first row, row stripe so that'll be like boop 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 so I'm going to click format notice uh, let's see I'm going to do fill I'm going to do a really light colored blue maybe that one right there click OK see it's starting to emerge if you like uh, more than one stripe you can do that and then I'm going to do the uh, second stripe, format, fill, more colors. I'm going to select that blue right there, go over to font. Anyway, you get the idea. You can do whatever you want. There it is. We, um, so now we can use this. It'll be a built-in style. Set as default table quick style for this document. Um, I'm not going to click that, but I'll show you in just a moment how to uh, do that. Oh, there it is, right at the top. So I can click it. Not only that, but when I come up here, and it's also in the home ribbon under styles, format as style. You can right click this and say set as default. And then that way you've built your um, formatting scheme that you like. And boom, now every time you create a table, it will automatically use this one. Now, um, sometimes you like people like the format but not the table features. It stores a name and all sorts of things which we'll look at. So how do you convert this back to a regular range and keep the format? You go to design, convert to range. I never do it that way. I right click and down here at the bottom it says table and convert to range. It says, uh, do you sure you want to do this? I'm going to click yes. So now um, I'm going to highlight this whole table with control asterisk. And then I'm going to clear all formatting. Where's my, uh, there it is. Boop. Clear all formatting. And now I'm going to see if I can uh, see if I create a table, if the default will show up. Control T. There's uh, my table as headers. Click OK. And sure enough, now we have that as a default. So. Um, Another amazing feature is that sort and filter together appear at the top of each uh, field name. So then you can select whichever one you want. Number filters greater than or equal to. That's for date. Uh, that one's not um, sensing it as a date. I'm going to have to format this column. I'm going to click on the top cell, Control Shift Down Arrow, Control One to format cells. I'm going to click on date. 
Now watch this. Um, we, now that we have a date, watch what happens to the filter here. Oh, all of a sudden it knows. So before without the, the formatting, it just thought it was a number, but now, and we'll talk about filters and sorting in great detail in just a moment, but you can see they're all available here. Sort, um, oldest to newest, color, and filtering. So that's another new amazing feature. Uh, perhaps the most amazing feature, though, is the dynamic ranges. Now, this table, if I zoom in, this table is pretty big here. Oh, it's only got 158 records. But I can add new records to the bottom. I'm going to control home. I'm going to create a formula and a chart. Let's say, uh, or just a, a formula here, equals SUM total equals SUM. And then I'm going to highlight this sales column here, control shift down arrow, F4. I don't need it locked, but it jumps the screen back in. Close parentheses and control enter. The fact that it's the table, see how it says uh, D158? Let me go down to the bottom. I'm going to control down arrow. And here's how you add a new record. You click in the last um, cell in the last row and hit tab, and it adds a new record. So now I'm going to put a date. This is going to be 2 slash 28 slash 2008. Uh, we sold a Toyota. Notice that's an um, auto um, fill. It's looking up above, and when it sees something similar, it offers you up that. And all you have to do is hit Tab. I'm going to say City. Notice City doesn't show up in that auto uh, complete because it's got um, they're, they're all similar. So, But as soon as I type uh, 15, uh, nothing happens. That's uh, there's all these other similar ones with one zero, so it didn't know how to fill it in. Tab the sales were going to be thirty thousand, and the um, cost of goods sold was twenty five thousand. Now this row is fifty nine, so if we go up, I'm going to Control Home that jumps back to A one. If I come up here and look, sure enough, that formula updated. That is just amazing. Look at that. Totally updated. And the same thing goes for charts and pivot tables and uh, anything that uses that range. That's the most amazing thing. You know, in earlier versions, you had to use offset and named formulas and all sorts of things. Now, um, one, a couple more things um, about 2007 tables. In order to change the name, I'm going to go to Design Table Tools and then change the name here. Sales table 01, and I'm going to hit Enter. That name is stored in the Name Manager in memory. Control F3 to get to Name Manager. And sure enough, there it is right there. I can see I have a bunch of uh, problems there. I'll have to get rid of that. But there it is. There's that name. And notice the icon's a little bit different. The dog tag is for the names. The uh, little table icon is for a table. Now, table nomenclature for Excel 2007. I'm going to copy this right here, and I'm going to show you a different way to um, make a formula. So type equals SUM. And we named our table, so sales. So I'm going to type an S. If you remember what it was, you can just type it out. Sure enough, there's our a drop down in 2007. Those means functions. That table uh, icon means table. I can double click it. Watch this. As soon as I type a square bracket, and uh, some of you who have seen uh, done access know that the, the square bracket uh, is for field, a field name. Sure enough, as soon as we do a square bracket, our fields come up. So we can uh, select, for instance, a sales, right? And then close parentheses. So that formula right there is using table nomenclature. Now I have a video that shows you every, notice on our drop down. Here, when I type this, I have a video that shows you every single example of all the different possible things for table nomenclatures and how to use them in uh, formulas. So, if you want, you can go uh, download this, and there it is. It's called uh, Excel Magic Trick 200, and there's a link right there. But here, let me at least show you one excellent thing what's so nice about the table nomenclature. I'm going to insert a new sheet, Shift F11, and there it is, Shift F11. And this is, I'm going to put table T N F for table nomenclature formula. So let's just say I'm on a different sheet equals sum. 
and then I type my sales, and there it is, right there. I can just, from a different sheet wherever I am in this workbook, uh, get my uh, table nomenclature. I'm going to say cost of goods sold this time. End square bracket, close parentheses. So it's adding up uh, cost of goods sold. So this is total cost of goods sold. All right, and so there's our uh, little formula there. All right, uh, so those are seven amazing new features of the Excel 2007. Uh, later on, we create uh, charts and pivot tables and whatnot. When we use our table, anytime we add new records, those things will update. All right, we'll see you next trick for sorting.